everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem: Solve dy by dx plus y cot x equals to y square sine square x cos square x. Solution: Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y cot x equals to y square sine square x into cos square x. You can write this as dy by dx plus cot x into y equals to functions of x into function of y which is Bernoulli's equation in y and x. Okay, see by comparing these two we'll get p, q and n. Bernoulli's equation in n is of the form dy by dx plus p into y equals to q into y power n where p and q are either functions of x alone or constants. And n is a real number such so that n not equals to 0 and not equals to 1. Okay. So, which is Bernoulli's, which is in Bernoulli's form. Right. Where p equals to cortex equals to sine square x into cos square x again by comparing y square with y power n we'll get n equals to 2 right here the conditions are applied n must not be equals to 0 or 1 but we have n equals to 2 which is a real number now we'll reduce this Bernoulli's equation to linear form We know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, where p and q are either functions of x alone. or constants okay. so if you notice LHS remains the same, but in the RHS, the Bernoulli's equation, you'll have an extra function, function of y. But while coming to linear form, you'll have either function of, q will be either function of x alone or a constant. Okay? So, here we'll leave this function of x and we'll eliminate y square from the Bernoulli's equation since linear equation in the RHS of linear equation we don't have any function of y only we have either function of x or fun constant right so we'll eliminate y square from this equation how we can eliminate y square simply you can bring y square to LHS or you can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by y square or you can divide both sides of the equation with y square okay we'll simply bring y square to LHS then we'll get 1 by y square I'm writing directly 1 by y square into dy by dx plus cot x into y by y square equals to sine square x into cos square x or you can check like this
what happens if you bring y square to LHS will get 1 by y square times the LHS part. Right? Now simply multiply these two terms with 1 by y square, then you get 1 by y square into dy by dx plus cot x into y by y square equals to sine square x into cos square x. You get the same thing, right? Fine. Now, this equation can be reduced to 1 by y square into dy by dx plus cot x into 1 by gets cancelled and you get 1 by y equals to RHS part remains the same. So, we have eliminated y square from RHS, right? Now, let 1 by y equals to u. Now, we have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So, here we will use chain rule to differentiate on both sides with respect to u. Since you are having function of y, but we are asked to differentiate with respect to x. du by dx equals to du by this is a function of y, right? So, it involves differential dy into dy by dx. Okay, now, we will find derivative of u with respect to y since u equals to 1 by y. Find simply, we will differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Then we will get du by dy equals to derivative of 1 by y with respect to y is minus 1 by y square. Then this becomes du by dx equals to replace du by dy by minus 1 by y square. Then you get minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Okay. This is the actual method to find derivative of u with respect to x. Okay. Instead of doing all this, we'll do directly. Find derivative of 1 by y with respect to y. You'll get minus 1 by y square into uh, dy by dx equals to du by dx. This is what we are going to do all the time. Okay. Direct method. Minus 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to du by dx. Now, come to the first term. You have 1 by y square into dy by dx, right? Plus 1 by y square into dy by dx. But here we are having minus 1 by y square into dy by dx. Take this minus 2. RHS or simply multiply with minus on both sides of the equation. Then we will get 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Now it is easy to replace this by minus du by dx. Right? So when 1 by y equals to u then 1 by y square into dy by dx equals to minus du by dx. Right? So the above equation can be reduced to Replace first term by minus du by dx plus cot x into replace 1 by y with u equals to sine square x into cos square x. We know that the standard form of linear equation u and x will be du by dx plus p into u equals to q where p and q are functions of x alone. Okay. See, the coefficient of du by dx must be positive, plus 1, I can say. But here you are having minus 1, so what we will do? We will simply 
multiply both sides of the equation with minus then we'll get du by dx minus cot x into u equals to minus sine square x into cos square x right which is linear in u again by comparing these two equations we'll get see here the question to of du by dx is positive 1 we'll get p and q by comparing this equation with the standard form of linear in u where p equals to minus cot x and q equals to minus sine square x into cos square x so now we need to find the general solution to the given equation so the general solution of the reduced equation that is linear equation will be the general solution of the given equation so now we'll find the general solution to the given equation by using the general solution of linear in u form okay we have p equals to minus cot x and q equals to minus sine square x into cos square x Firstly, we will find integrating factor. The integrating factor of linear equation in u and x is given by e power integral p differential dx is equals to e power integral for p equals to minus cot x dx is equals to e power minus integral cot x dx since we know that integral cot x dx is log mod sin x see here we don't use plus c integral constant okay we'll finally write in the formula plus c okay because we have uh, we'll get if you write plus c we'll get e power some c which is a positive some real number will get a constant okay so instead of writing plus c everywhere we'll write only one c finally at the general solution it is equals to e power minus log more sine x again you can write this as minus log sine x which is equals to e power log sine x whole inverse that is reciprocal of sine x since we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then we'll get 1 by sine x since e power log function of x equals to function of x so here our integrating factor is 1 by sine x Now we can find the general solution. The general solution of the given equation is given by u into integrating factor equals to integral q for q minus sine square x into cos square x into integrating factor 1 by sine x into dx plus c this equals to minus integral 1 sine x gets cancelled and you get sine x into cos square x into dx okay better take minus inside the integral again since we know that integral f of x power n into f dash of x dx equals to f of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Okay. If f of x equals to cos x, see I will write this as integral minus sin x 
into I write cos square x as cos x whole square into dx. Okay, now let cos x equals to sum f of x. Then f dash of x equals to derivative of cos x with respect to x. The rate of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x. Okay. Now, see, f of x power n integral f of x power n into f dash of x that is minus sin x into dx equals to, you can apply this formula for this, right? For f of x equals to cos x. And for f dash of x equals to minus sin x. Let's write this as cos x whole square f of x power n into f dash of x into dx. So can apply this formula for f of x equals to cos x and f dash of x equals to minus sin x and we'll get f of x that is cos x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay plus c is equals to cos x whole cube by 3 plus c cos x whole cube can be written as cos cube x by 3 plus c. Now take the LCM equals to 3 will be your LCM in the numerator you will get cos cube x plus 3 into c, 3c. Since c being constant you can write 3c as c then you will get cos cube x plus c by 3. Now replace u by 1 by y, then you will get 1 by y sin x equals to cos cube x plus c by 3. Now we can make cross multiplication. Then you get 3 into 1, 3 equals to y sin x times cos cube x plus c, which is the required solution. Or y sin x times cos cube x plus c equals to 3. So we have seen a problem from Pranoli's equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.